It is time to expand minds through movies, TV, sports, and flicks. It is time to boldly go where no podcast has gone before. It is time for the Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain, the Captain Talk, Talk Flicks. 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 Welcome to the Captain Talk Flicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, aka Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. And ladies and gentlemen, this week I got to go back to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hang out, see the sights, chill at the mayors back in Tulsa once again. So I'm going to get into Tulsa King this week. First couple things. I want to give a big shout out to Muskegon, Michigan. Got some plays over Muskegon, Michigan this past week. Gracias. Gratitude. Toroba. In Muskegon, I've been to your lovely city. And if you don't know, I live in the state of Michigan. I live in Lansing, Michigan. So occasionally I travel my state and I've been to your city, a lovely city. It was a pleasure to be in Muskegon and I'll come there again soon. So thanks for listening. Appreciate guys' gratitude. And additionally, this episode is brought to you by the song called Immersive Visions. By yours truly, the Captain Che Cortez. It's me rapping in my unique style over melodic hip-hop sci-fi type beats. So if you want to hear a rap that you never heard before in your entire life, check this song called Immersive Visions by yours truly, the Captain Che Cortez. I'll put the link below. Check it out. Now, let's get on the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I went back to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I had the Kansas City Blues. <laughs> I got to witness to white man Freddie once again collecting envelopes. He's got a weed business. He's trying to buy wind turbines. You know, he's trying to do his thing, trying to get envelopes, get paid, stay out of jail. Him and his crew just doing the thing, dodging adversaries. Just trying to live a life of abundance and seeing jelly roll, all types of stuff happening, cool happenings in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dwight just trying to dodge the feds, all types of stuff happening. So great show. There's still continuing the story of Dwight battling the case he's got on, right? He's trying to stay out of jail. He's trying to run his business. He's got adversaries coming in. A lot of chaos is happening. He's trying to juggle all the balls and spin all the plates as usual. Now, what I want to do, though, this week is I want to get into some interesting that saw the show and kind of expand upon that. So in the episode, we saw Dwight go and meet with this guy he met. He met some guy when he was in jail, and the guy was talking about wind turbines. So he goes back and meets this guy again. He's like, bro, I want to buy your wind turbines. And guy's like, bro, you probably got enough money for that. I mean, they cost a lot of money, bro. I think it's like $300 million or something like that. I think it was like $300 million or something like that. He's like, you probably got the money for that, bro. And the white man friend is like, bro, I ain't giving you 300 million. I gave you like the 12.5 million, some of that. So significantly lower, right? And what I found interesting about this is that Dwight's prior meeting with this man, he was all like friendly and hey, what's going on? Talk, trying to help him out. And now a little bit later, he's trying to take advantage of him. He knows this guy he met in jail. He's in a bad spot, right? So he said he's like, gonna take advantage of that. And go ahead and get, get this wind turbines for cheap. This kind of connects what I talked about in the last episode. When you are down, sometimes people that were friendly at you first might come at you, right? When you're down or low, that's when the wolves will pounce. You see Dwight's a wolf and he's pouncing. The guy's down and out and he's hurting. He's in a bad spot and he's getting pounced on. Same thing I said about slow horses, right? I keep talking about this, bro. If you're in a low spot, sometimes the wolves will come. So try your best not to get in a low spot. That's the lesson these last couple weeks. Try your best to not be in a low spot. But if you do, make sure you have a sharp mind, strong body, and try to have a strong wallet. Because if you have those things, you might be able to maneuver through these tough times easier. Now, there was a moment in time when yours truly, the Captain J. Cortez, wasn't in a bad spot. Actually, a few times. And that was a bad spot and things happened, right? You know, I took advantage of because I was in the best spot. The wolves pounced. I got pounced on, bro. I bounced back, but I got pounced on. I was not prepared. I didn't know the lessons. I didn't get to see Tulsa King and see the lessons. I didn't know these lessons. I should have known, but no one told me the lesson. When you're down and out low, the wolves will pounce sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes they will pounce. They try to take advantage of that, right? And no knocking Dwight, man, Freddie, the general. He's a great dude. He's cool. He's entertaining. 
but he will pounce. He will be the wolf if he needs to and he sees advantage. If he's seeing gang something, he'll become the wolf and he will pounce. You don't care if he smiled at you and we're buddies, bro. He will pounce. He will do what he gotta do to survive and get what he needs. He's a ruthless man. Study the art of war, bro. He's ruthless. He will take what he wants. <coughs> if he's gotta run right over, he will. Now, there are human beings out there in the world that are like this. Be wary, be careful. Try to stay away from people like this. They're looking for, for, for sheep to slaughter, bro. Don't be that sheep. And that's why one of the things I think about all the time is try to strengthen your body, try to strengthen your mind, and try to strengthen your wall every day. These three things I work on every day, bro. So if the wolves are pouncing, I'm not a sheep or a very strong sheep. Well, I'm the wolf myself, right? So I feel my audience. If there's three things you can work on daily in my 48 years of planning that I think will serve you well, as the lesson of the shows you might need is to work on your mind, strengthen your mind, make it smart, intelligent, learn things daily. Do this, learn things, get smart, learn, 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 strengthen your mind, meditate, learn, getting resilience, endurance, knowledge, information, right? Critical thinking, think, analyze, study, right? That mind in the body. Exercise your body daily. Work out, train, yoga, weights, boxing, whatever. Just make it strong. Swimming, kayaking, whatever. Just make your body strong. Your mind strong, right? Durability, endurance. These two things, yes, work on these daily. Do these daily. That's what I recommend. You know, that's, that's, I think it works for me. So you can avoid Dwight Man Freddy or deflect him if he comes at you. And the third one is the wallet. Attempt to make your wallet as strong as possible. That means having assets, that means having finances, having money, cash available. The abundance of cash and assets, bro. It's cool to have little collectibles and things, all these things, it's great. But when the chips are down and you're in a bad spot, if you got assets and cash, that's gonna hold you down and support you, bro. Right? Things might get tougher, it'll hold you down. Because there are Dwight Man Freddy's out there. And they might come at you. But if you're strong mentally, physically, financially, they might not say you're too strong for us, bro. You're too smart. You're too strong. You're too rich. Can't mess with you. And the wind turned by a guy. He wasn't strong-minded, physically strong. He wasn't prepared. Be prepared. Now, nothing may ever happen, right? Nothing may go down. You may have a great life. No major things going down. But it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. So yeah, daily work on yourself. That's the recommendation I learned from this episode again. Strengthen your mind, your body, and your wallet. Or man, Freddy coming to get you. <laughs> yeah, but Dwight, he's, 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 he's ruthless, bro. He shows you every week how ruthless he is. Smiles, friendly, all that, man. But when it's time to get ruthless, he does it. He's a ruthless dude, bro. And these dudes out here like that, be careful. Watch yourself, bro. Be aware. Just pay attention. But anyways, love this show. It's fun. It's entertaining. They show how to take catalytic converters. <laughs> so I was like, I oh, they showed that. I, was like, I didn't know what it was. I heard about it. I never knew what it was. They showed that. How it's done. That's how you do it. It's that easy. Like, oh my gosh. I can't believe people doing that. They showed that. I learned that there's platinum inside the catalytic converter. That's why people take them. I never knew that. I knew that. I knew they took them. I was like, why are they taking these things? Because there's platinum in there, apparently. So anyways, fine show. I learned some things. There's some lessons in there. Always good to see Sylvester Sloan doing his thing on the TV screen. It's very cool. So anyways, if you have not checked out Tulsa King, I highly recommend you check it out. Curling to where I pay my plus, check it out. Highly recommend it. And this concludes the podcast. And until next time, we'll see. I believe in getting into hot water. It keeps you clean. G.K. Chesterton. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.